Keep your tableware looking good. You need to take care of it. To find out what you may be doing wrong, interior designer Brian Glexstein joins us. my staff to applaud like this when I come in every morning. Right? It's, I think it's, nice. it's, it's, it's doable. Maybe just send out an email, you know, when you Please show applaud. up tomorrow. Please clap for me. This is lovely. So the tableware, you can get gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful plates. The thing is, if you're spending the money, you want to make sure you're treating them properly and different materials call for different treatments. Correct. And you want to buy different materials based on your lifestyle. Yes. So we have all the different constructions of dinnerware that you can imagine. Okay. So one of the ones we'll start with, uh, because it's this time of year, is melamine. It's amazing how beautiful the melamine is now that yes. you can get. It looks, it's really made it like it's a plastic. Gorgeous. So it looks like a porcelain, but yeah. it is, it is a plastic. Yes. So this, we really created this for summer because when you're outside, you don't want to have glass outside because no. if you, you're you often barefoot. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you use melamine outside for drinkware and, and dinnerware because if someone drops it, it's not going to break and you're not going to have broken glass around the deck or the patio yes. or the pool. Um, but a lot of people use this if they have little kids. Everyday wear. And this is the yes. genius of uh, tableware makers like yourself. You've done the design so gorgeously that we use melamine every day, every day. for our dishware. You know, the kids are, they, they're kids. Yes. You know, their hand eye is not great. So things are getting spilled and you don't want to have to get mad over a, a plate falling Correct. on the ground. So melamine is perfect. It's beautiful. Use it if you have little kids. Um, never microwave it because it is nope. a plastic material or yep. you'll have a blob. And um, you can put it in the dishwasher but not on high heat. Mm -hmm. So the next we have is stoneware. So stoneware gives you that sort of natural look, a little more, uh, it can be handmade, it can be machine made. Um, the same with a stoneware, you can put it in the dishwasher um, if it's glazed. Okay. So some stoneware you'll see is unglazed on the outside, glazed on the inside. Yeah. It will be very porous, so it'll absorb the water. Also, don't leave stoneware soaking. Um, because ah. stoneware can absorb water. It's fine to eat, yeah. but you wouldn't leave it soaking if you've got something on it that's sticking on it. Don't leave it in the sink because it will absorb it and it'll change the color. Oh, that's good to know. I actually didn't know that. Yes. Okay, so uh, if it's glazed, you said you can? It, it if it's dishwasher? glazed, you can put it in the dishwasher. Okay, got it. Um, no glaze, it, no dishwasher. No glaze, no dishwasher, no, um, no real uh, soaking. Okay. And then we have uh, porcelain. Okay. And porcelain is a very strong material. Yes. It is a little thicker than what you would find in a bone china, which I'll show you next. Um, it tends to have a little bit of a gray cast to it and mm -hmm. you can see the difference between that and a, a bone china yeah um, it's a little whiter porcelain is great you can uh, microwave it dishwasher safe everything like that but with a lot of dinnerware um, if the if the dishes are really cold don't put hot things on it don't stick it into an oven if it's cold because it'll crack Okay, you don't want that. No, like some people say, oh, I've got, you know, the, the, the food has been in the fridge because my partner's coming home later and yeah. I'll just stick it in the oven. No, it'll crack. Okay, so leave it out room temperature for a little bit so it can Correct. get a little bit heated up and then put it and in. And then put it in because I see a lot of people say, well, so-and-so's running late, I'll put it in the fridge and then that I'll put it in sense. the oven. Yeah. Do not do that. Now, bone china, mm -hmm. which, we, which is much more fine as far as the thickness goes, yeah. is, believe it or not, the strongest of all. And everybody Everybody thinks it's so fragile and yes. gentle. So this I is... mean, don't throw it on the ground. But no, it's, don't like... But it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's heavy duty. But bone china is your strongest dinnerware you can have. Okay. People used to think porcelain was the strongest, but yeah. bone... It's, it's the most chip resistant. Now, mm. people associate bone china with fine patterns like this. Yes. But you can... You get bone china in the most casual dinnerware. Nice. So if you want something really strong, white, thin, modern, you do bone china. Okay. Now, uh, when you have dinnerware that has any gold or silver most of it should not be in the microwave there are some that are microwave safe you can check on it I still wouldn't put dinnerware like this in a microwave right and uh, dishwasher on low heat Got it. and if you put it in the dishwasher and it's warm water let it cool down because nothing will happen to the gold unless you touch it and it's still warm Oh, so I your see. fingerprint will it won't come off, but your fingerprint will be on we'll that be silver on that. gold forever. Interesting. So, so you don't want that. Um, now oh, listen to all they're all like oh. Ooh. Oh, they took out their notepads, they're writing down notes. I want you to rerun this when you're home. <laughs> now a lot of people will say my white dinnerware has scratches all over it yes. from my cutlery. 
your dinnerware is not defective. Right. All you need is a sponge and an abrasive cleanser and it will come off perfectly. Yeah. So when you're frantic and all your white dinnerware has gray scratches, there's nothing wrong with it. Yep. Just, only if there's a crack is a problem, but if you have scratches all over it, just use a, a rough textured um, for it and you're fine. It's par for the course. We've done it on City Line before where we get rid of those scratches. Yes. You can get rid of them. Because people literally say I have to throw my dinnerware away and like you don't have no, to. No, 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 no. And no. then when you're storing your dinnerware, your mm -hmm. fine dinnerware, always put a napkin between them. Oh, that's smart. See the way I've got that? Yeah, and so that's it's gonna, never. That's going to prepare uh, for the scratches. Yeah. You don't want it one on top of the other. You're supposed to do that with your pans as and well. And then wood. This is really special. Like this is pretty. Uh, it's pretty tricky. It's beautiful. Yes. But in terms, you don't want that sitting in water. No. No soaking. No. You can use a, a wet cloth to clean yeah. it. But also a lot of wood. Don't put it in a dishwasher. Hand mm. wash it. Very. Don't soak it. But. Uh, wood can crack, so what you want to do is yeah. oil it every year with a vegetable or something like that, and it'll keep it moist. Oh my gosh, like any I don't wood. do that. You That's have to why all oil, my wood has cracked. oil your wood. Okay. And then the last thing is, don't store your glasses this way, no, because they will start to get foggy over time. They'll keep the moisture in. Mm. Always store them like that, and never stack them. You're all doing it wrong, aren't you? I know. Because you see your glasses okay, are foggy and they're not quite Me the too. same. Because they're still warm or they're wet and you put it like that, yeah. it traps all the moisture in. It's going to fog up your glassware. I don't know how many years I've been hosting this show. Why am I doing things wrong still? Because you're not listening to me. Am I not listening? <laughs> now I, I need my I'm, notes section here. of my phone. Like, why, thank you. <laughs> I'll just take that with me. Where is everything here from? Because it is uh, gorgeous. I designed everything here for Hudson's Bay. So <gasps>